will not have it. Do you understand that? I will not have it. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're examining our picks for the top 20 more times Karen's ruined their own lives. Where it picked up steam almost immediately, with some offering support and others quickly working to track down the woman they labeled as a Karen. For this list, we'll be looking at even more incidents of the rudest, most obnoxious, and most entitled people that got some delightful karma in return for their terrible actions. Who's the most famous Karen in the world? Let us know below. Number 20. Horse Hitter Karens have a habit of punching down to make themselves feel superior. And Sarah Moulds went a step further in 2021 when she took part in the Cottesmore Hunt in England. When attempting to get her horse named Bruce Almighty into a trailer, Moulds was filmed hitting and kicking the animal in frustration. Once the video found its way to the internet, it all went very wrong for Moulds. On top of being booted from her volunteer role at a pony club and future hunt events, Moulds also lost her job as a school teacher and was investigated by the animal charity RSPCA. She was charged with animal cruelty but found not guilty in 2023. Number 19. Mace Malice In 2020, after a cop spotted her driving erratically and indicated she should stop, Karina Weymouth Bell eventually halted on an off-ramp and proceeded to make her situation a million times worse. Idaho State Police say 21-year-old Karina Weymouth Bell was swerving in and out of traffic on I-84 on Friday. Weymouth Bell jumped out of her car and approached the officer with a mace canister in her hand. After pushing the cop's car door into him and believing her intimidation tactic worked, Weymouth Bell went back to her car. That's when Weymouth Bell aggressively approached the trooper pointed a can of mace at him and slammed the trooper's door. With this opportunity, the officer fired a taser, dropping her to the concrete. After being taken to the hospital to treat her injuries, Weymouth Bell was arrested on several charges, including assault and battery on a cop, possessing substances, and driving without a license. Number 18. California Consequences It's bonkers that Karens think spouting racism publicly is okay and nothing will happen to them. In 2021, a Twitter user known as M posted about an incident she experienced in Brentwood, California. M said she was minding her own business on a street when a man came out of his house and began harassing her. And no one's, no one's going to pay attention to you because you're, 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 you're dumb. She started filming and his bigoted views soon tumbled out. Later identified as Michael Dawson, he criticized her colored hair and threw in some anti-Asian insults mixed with misogyny. I can record you, 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 you dumb bitch. I can record you, too. What a treasure. As the video spread, Dawson's employers, real estate company Beach City Brokers, soon saw it and made a public statement that he'd been fired for his offensive rant. Number 17. Halifax Horror We've all drunk too much at some point and done silly things. It happens, but Justine Morrison couldn't blame the beverages for her atrocious behavior in 2023. Oh my God, you must be so proud. Oh, you're working on a door. After getting rowdy on a night out at a bar in Halifax, England, Morrison was escorted from the establishment by the doorman, Dally Wiley. When outside, Morrison argued sarcastically with Wiley and spat racial insults at him using the term black with a sneer. Unsurprisingly, she was banned from the bar permanently. You Fine. black Thanks, lads. man. Thanks, lads. Black. That video is That's why you get a name. After the incident gained attention, her employer, Shine Theater Arts, fired her from her part-time accountancy role. Morrison was also arrested and handed a police caution as long as she accepted responsibility and took part in a restorative justice program. Number 16. Unsolicited Opinions some people love giving you their opinion when you don't want or need it. In 2021, teenager Mia was enjoying the weather with friends at a beach in Fort Collins, Colorado. Well, Logan Dorn didn't like this. Young guys into consideration, they don't need to see pornography right We're not coming up to you, bothering you, please go away. You're flaunting your stuff. I'm not flaunting anything, don't look at me. He decided to tell them their bathing costumes were explicit and used his Christian faith to try and shame them. After Mia released her video on the incident, Dorn made a video explaining his actions and regretted them. Kidding. He doubled down and claimed he was filled with righteous anger over their outfits, 
which is weird. In that moment, just a righteous anger of to defend and protect um, young eyes came over me. And so I just started to speak truth that, hey, you know, what you're wearing is not okay, that you can't find your worth in your body. Dorn's employers, the Christian building company Mighty Hand Construction, released a statement condemning his behavior and fired him after a brief investigation into his harassment. Number 15. Underground Ignorance There aren't many that enjoy being on the underground in London. Commuters want to get through it with minimal fuss and go about their days. Well, Jacqueline Woodhouse wasn't going to allow anyone an easy ride in 2012. Woodhouse's outrageous behavior was filmed by a passenger who protested. Watch what you say. Watch what? Yeah, watch what you're saying. I live in England, now I live in the United States. So keep your mouth shut then. The intoxicated Woodhouse went on a massive racist tirade at anyone on the tube that didn't appear white. She claimed the country had been overtaken, uttered various stereotypes, and threatened people with violence. I think Jacqueline Woodhouse got off pretty lightly, actually. But I just hope she can learn from this and hopefully change her ways. And whether it change her views, I don't know. On top of losing her job over this event, Woodhouse, who was involved in a similar incident in 2008, was arrested and sentenced up to 21 weeks in jail for her racially charged harassment. Number 14. Anarchy with the Monarchy Being anti-monarchy is okay in this day and age, but perhaps taking your royal rage out on a toddler isn't going to influence people to your views. In 2016, Angela Gibbons, a senior manager at the charity The British Council, decided to slander Prince George in a Facebook post that drew a lot of attention from the media. Since Queen Elizabeth II was a patron of the charity at the time, the firm fired Gibbons for the scandal. She took the British Council to a tribunal for unfair dismissal against a Republican stance. However, Gibbons' case was dismissed since she insulted a child publicly. Number 13. Banking Karen In 2021, with the pandemic in full effect, many establishments required folk to wear a face mask inside, which was understandable. But Terry Wright wasn't doing that at a Bank of America branch in Galveston, Texas. Even after being offered one by the employees, she remained adamant and refused to leave. So the cops arrived. Exactly. Businesses have the right to refuse service, even if you're not wearing That's a mask. That's I'm their choice. Awesome. Well, you need to go and get a mask and then take your money out. But Wright wrongly believed she was on public property and wouldn't exit. Seeing no option, the officer arrested her. Amazingly, Wright was heard on the body cam yelling it was police brutality, only for jaded customers to counter that it wasn't. Please not relaxed at all. Right here, people. Wright even did something similar days later at an office depot in Texas City. For her bank statement, she received 12 days in prison for trespassing and resisting arrest. Number 12. Teacher of Disrespect This might surprise some Karens, but there are many religions in the world. Just because you happen to follow one doesn't mean you can be disrespectful to those who follow another. In 2022, Muslim students were praying in a room at Franklin Academy in Pembroke Pines, Florida. The video starts with tranquil music and two boys reciting an Islamic prayer. In a video they recorded, an unidentified teacher walked in and interrupted what she distastefully described as magic. As well as blowing a whistle and mentioning Jesus, the terrible teacher stood on a prayer mat and on one of the students' hands. This hateful act didn't sit well with the school, which fired the teacher. The name of that teacher has not been released, but she lost her job. Number 11. Mask Tyranny Some Karen politicians think the rules don't apply to them. Unfortunately for their egos, they very much do. In 2021, Alaska State Senator Laura Reinbold, who has a history of spreading pandemic misinformation and labeling mask mandates as tyranny, was recorded arguing with Alaska Airlines employee over their face covering rules to such an extent that the police stepped in. After the incident, Reinbold was banned by Alaska Airlines. This was a problem since they were the only company that made regular trips to the state's capital, Juneau, where Reinbold needed to vote and do her job. Alaska Airlines is the only carrier that flies from her home district near Anchorage to the state capital in Juneau. Reinbold will now drive hundreds of miles into Canada and take a five-hour ferry, a journey she documented on Facebook. As such, she asked to be excused from attending the Senate until a later date. Her request was granted. Number 10. Tram Karen Public transport seems to bring out the worst in some Karens. In 2011, 
Emma West sat on a train in Croydon, England, with a child balanced on her lap. For some reason, she went off on a tirade of abuse to other passengers, such as claiming one person wasn't British since they were black. Yikes. Until I let you lot come over. So what? So what? Yes, so what? So what? Yes, my British country. Now you call me black. West was soon arrested for verbally abusing people. However, due to her lawyers arguing she was unfit to stay in trial because of a history of violent episodes, she wasn't sentenced until 2013, when she received a 24-month community order. We don't tolerate racism within the rail infrastructure, but I would like to urge the travelling public that this is a rare event and, it, and it's representative of a very, very small minority of people. West was also struck off as a nurse by the General Dental Council for bringing the profession into disrepute. Number 9. Vicious Vacation Most people relax on the beach on vacation, perhaps enjoying a book and a cocktail in the sun, but not Adam Katsavellos. In 2018, the South African was holidaying in Greece when he recorded a video of himself ranting with some slurs, stating it was heaven on earth since there were no black people there. Wow. You hear Adam expressing his delight that there are no black people around even using the K-word to convey his satisfaction. Unsurprisingly, people were furious. The backlash caused a boycott of Katzavellas' family business, forcing them to fire him. Even Nike had to make a statement as Katzavellas' wife worked for them. To make matters worse, he had to face legal action. In 2020, after pleading guilty to crimen injuria, Katzavellas was sentenced to a $3,300 fine or two years in jail. Both options suspended for five years. I am hopeful that in making this acknowledgement and apology, I will be forgiven and be able to restore my confidence and participate in all aspects of life in South Africa, including the building of social cohesion. Number 8. Not Learning a Lesson Getting fired from her job at Rent Me Superstore in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for a racist rant at a customer wasn't enough for Tara Lynn Belcher in 2015. Nope, she needed to do more, for some reason. According to a Myrtle Beach police report, it was 28-year-old Tara Belcher seen on this video yelling racial slurs. Upon leaving the shop, an unidentified man who had witnessed the event followed her outside, recording her on his phone to shame her online later. Later, Belcher claimed the man attacked her. However, as the police investigated, they found a very different story. And once they seen the video, they seen that she that story that she told them was not the truth. Belcher uttered several racial slurs of the man and then spat at him. He retaliated with a slap before a scuffle broke out between them. Belcher was soon arrested for assault, battery, and possession of banned substances. Number 7. Brooklyn Karen Some Karens don't take a moment to check they have all the correct information. In 2021, author Frederick Joseph and his fiance were walking their dog in a Brooklyn dog park. Suddenly, they were approached by Emma Sarley, who mixed up their dog with another that barked a lot. She then told him to stay in his hood. She's like, you're not from around here. Go back to your hood. Stay in your hood. Stay in your hood. So I'm like, stay in my hood, right? Like, you're, you're being racist right now. Yikes. When Joseph began recording her, Sarley pretended that didn't happen and tried to twist it that they were telling her that. Joseph then got support from witness Steve Tracy, who confirmed she had told the couple to stay in their hood. You were right here, watched this entire thing. Did she just not stand here and tell us to stay in her hood? She did. Yeah, as those words were coming out and things started to unfold, it was pretty obvious to me, like, this is, this is not okay. Sarley even tried to grab the phone. Soon after the story broke, software company Bevy fired Sarley for her racist harassment. Number 6. Not Fresh Ken in theory, lawyers should be a model of justice and fairness, but that's definitely not the case for Aaron Schlossberg. With a history of bigoted behavior, in 2018, Schlossberg lost it at Fresh Kitchen in New York City after he was recorded ranting at staff for speaking Spanish and accusing them of being in the U.S. illegally. Your staff is speaking Spanish to customers when they should be speaking very much. A shocking tirade right in the middle of a Manhattan restaurant. Every person I listen to, he's spoken, he's spoken, she's speaking it, he's America. The community had some fun with him afterward by sending, among other things, a mariachi band to perform outside his work. Soon after, Schlossberg was evicted from his office space by the landlord and businesses cut ties with his law firm. 
this message that we're sending to him is not just to him, it's to every single person in America, every single racist, the things they can openly attack our communities, man, there's going to be a response. In 2020, after being brought up on charges by the Attorney Grievance Committee, officials heavily criticized his behavior and believed the public shame was punishment enough. Number five, fired up. Not many Karens have resisted arrest in such a dramatic fashion. In 2023, Jennifer Holder allegedly dined and dashed at a restaurant at Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. After attempting to go through a secure door to escape staff, causing the police to respond, Holder grabbed a fire extinguisher and went on a spray a thon through the terminal. No one was exempt from Holder's rampage. Cops, security, flight staff, and even passengers were all engulfed in foam. Three flight staff had to get medical treatment due to breathing issues from the harsh chemicals. Even when the cops arrested her, Holder wasn't done and spat and kicked them. She was charged with several crimes, including battery, assault, and resisting arrest. Number four, Rage of Rapkin. In 2020, many across the U.S. protested the murder of George Floyd. One such protest was organized by teenager Eric Lucas in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Well, lawyer Stephanie Rapkin wasn't letting that happen and parked her car in the march's path. The situation unfolded after witnesses say 64-year-old Stephanie Rapkin parked her vehicle on Oakland Avenue, blocking the rally. After pleading with her to move the vehicle, Rapkin spat at Lucas. During a pandemic... After being arrested and released the following day, protesters arrived at her home to write outside with chalk. Rapkin was detained again after attacking one of them. In 2023, she was given the option of 60 days in jail or probation with 100 hours of community service. Rapkin chose prison by claiming nobody would want her. Rapkin's attorney asked for time served, saying his client suffered serious reputational harm but his client I would rather go to jail right now wasn't on the same page number 3 selfish in singapore in 2021 english born benjamin glenn was on his way back from work in singapore with the nation having strict pandemic measures in place for mask wearing on public transport you'd think he'd be sensible and wear one on the train have you researched bill gates <laughs> But no, to him, masks are a hoax. After being filmed breaking the rules, Glenn was arrested for being a public nuisance. This stopped him from returning to the UK with his family, which meant he lost out on a job he was set to start. Glenn was convicted for his procedure breaking and received a sentence of six weeks in prison. However, he was released days later due to time served. The icing on the cake? Glenn was deported from Singapore. Number 2. Thieving and Eating It's one level of entitlement to steal items from your partner, but a whole other to grab jewelry that once belonged to his now-deceased mother as a keepsake. In 2018, the police arrived in Troy, Michigan to find a very drunk Sylvia Hope Varellen refusing to leave her boyfriend's house and return some jewelry. This dash cam video allegedly shows Sylvia Varellen in an apparent drunken fight. No, you're an idiot. This battle started after Varellen's boyfriend called police, saying she wouldn't leave his house and stole jewelry from him. And she didn't make it easy for the cops. Varellen punched them, kicked them, bit them, spat at them, and tried to grab an officer's firearm. Then it turned out Varellen had swallowed her boyfriend's passed away mother's earrings. In the booking process, she actually um, removed the earrings um, without knowledge of, of, of our staff, and she ingested them. Police say Varellen was taken to the hospital where she threw up the earrings. After being taken to the hospital to get the items back, gross, Varellen was charged with numerous crimes, including assaults and resisting arrest. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Bell Brood The pandemic really gave Karens a new platform to show their terrible behavior. In 2021, Nordstrom Rack in Austin, Texas enforced a no-mask, no-entry rule. 
Kara Bell ignored this, claimed she was exempt, then barged into a changing cubicle. While police were arriving, Bell was still inside the dressing room, refusing to come out. Is that your clothes or is that theirs? That's theirs. Okay, I need you to take it off and put your clothes on. Okay, why? Because they want for you to leave. However, when she left, the police were waiting. Bell was belligerent to the officers and acted as if she knew more about the law than they did. She then attempted to use her faith to claim the rules don't apply to her. With no patience remaining, the cops arrested her. The CDC just released... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bell was handed a citation and banned from the store for at least a year. She was also running to be on the Travis County School Board, but that didn't pan out after all this drama. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.